It's an honor. Dan Roush, Full Contact Fighter, here with Max Kellerman. Max, what was up with that decision tonight? I thought it was a bad decision. I'm going to go back and watch it because I don't want to think that maybe we fell into groupthink ringside. That's always my fear, but I thought it was like a seven rounds to three type fight for Gonzalez. You could have had it eight to two. I suppose you could find four rounds to give to uh, uh, Pascal, but six to four, all three cards the other way. And, and one of those judges, and I'm forgetting his name now, gave the Herrera fight to Benavides, when Herrera clearly won that fight, and he gave it to Benavides pretty wide. So that's two really bad cards in a row, in, in, in pretty big fights. Why, does, why is he, like, if, if you hand in a scorecard with Benavides way up on Herrera, you should not get another assignment, you know, shortly thereafter for a fight like this. And now that you turned in this scorecard, you know, it's at a certain point, there needs to be some oversight. It was really an embarrassment. Everybody at ringside had it two or three points the other way. Right. Talk to us about Kovalev. I mean, he did what he was supposed to do, but did he really capture the excitement? And, and by the way, last thing, Gonzalez is a player now. In my mind, he won the fight. Yeah. I think he'd be more interesting with Kovalev. I think it's the more interesting fight because it's a fresh face. We already saw Kovalev beat Pascal. That's a fun rematch, sure. But I think Gonzalez is a more interesting fight. Um, sorry, the Kovalev question. Do you think that Gonzalez could maybe... Uh, pressure uh, Kovalev and push him backward. Yeah, potentially. I mean, I, I, Kovalev's clearly going to be the favorite no matter who he fights at light heavyweight, except for maybe Andre Ward. But yeah, it's a, just a, it's a, it's new blood. Are we going to see that Andre Ward fight this year? Against Kovalev? Yeah. I don't think so. I would guess that Andre would want at least another fight to gauge where he is at light heavyweight before fighting a guy like Kovalev, who's been really active recently. Uh, and then maybe even a fight after that, because there's no guarantee that in his next fight he feels like I'm ready to go. Maybe about two fights, which puts that Ward-Kovalev fight in the middle of the next year. Does that make Adonis Stevenson the next contender? It doesn't seem like Adonis Stevenson wants to fight Kovalev to me. Going forward, does he have the star capacity that, say, Triple G has? I mean, people at ringside didn't really seem to be captivated to that extent. I don't know what it is about Kovalev's inability to sell tickets so far. I mean, we are in the middle of July, we're in Vegas, Muhammad, he's not a name guy in this country, etc. But for whatever reason, Kovalev hasn't been able to bring the crowd out like Triple G has. Um, but look, if you keep knocking everyone out, eventually you will.